So what's up everybody, this is going to be a video about basically just my introduction to My Hero Academia. I've read chapter 1 to chapter 100 and I regret not covering this weekly because I know it's basically ending this year but still, My Hero, I love it. I really liked the story so far so I'm just gonna give my thoughts to it. This is gonna be a short video. Alright, so let's get into this. First of all, if you like anime, manga reviews, discussions, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video, like, comment, switch it with some false copyright strikes. So let's get this channel back to 5,000. Check out the Discord and Patreon. I have a second channel that focuses on One Piece and Boruto. Just bear with me, I'm still trying to catch up to Boruto. So one thing I really enjoyed about My Hero Academia was basically the character development of Deku. It's something that keeps being shown in this story is Deku becoming his own person. At the beginning of the story, Deku doesn't have a quirk, but he wants to be the top hero. It sounds similar to the most shown in stories, basically, when the hero wants to be, you know, the number one, but technically, on face value, it looks impossible. So, eventually, Deku meets All Might, and then All Might sees that Deku, even without a quirk, shows characteristics of a hero, and he decides Deku to be his protege. I really like the dynamic between All Might and Deku, how All Might is passing the torch to Deku, and Deku, at first, he was very in awe of All Might and in time he started realizing All Might he is a hero but he's not perfect he couldn't save everybody even though All Might really wanted to save everybody he can but he's human so there's gonna be somebody that's gonna be out of his reach I really like that about this part of the story is Deku finding his own he's growing into the hero that he's destined to be because I mean it's basically faith that Deku got the quirk of his favorite hero he used to look up to this hero all the time because All Might is the number one hero in their society so it's a cool moment seeing all my passing the torch to deku also seeing deku's character progression from being this wimp to being an actual hero risking his life and fighting his fears even though he knows that he should be running away or his safety is in danger so little things like that what it takes to be a hero is constantly being thrown at us we theme throughout the arcs from chapter 1 to 100 deku came from nothing to being where he's at now even though he's not the top hero in his class coming from a guy that was quirkless as a big achievement meeting the other students and other personalities i love it this story it really catches you the thing i love about my hero is it just feels like non-stop action yeah you have certain chapters that are very like lax but there's always something going on with the story and then you see it that this society of villains is brewing in the background getting stronger and more menacing you could tell that they actually want to destroy destroy basically what society is and i like the philosophy that's kind of been hinted so far that heroes and villains are two faces of the same coin that one little thing made a villain become a villain versus him going that straight path of becoming a hero i really like that because it kind of shows like the moral aspects of everything how there's right and wrong and technically one little thing can make you go bad like it's so easy to go the wrong path and literally what stop you from going from the wrong path is like not only choices but also the people that influence you and sometimes just luck in life one other thing that i like deku trying to learn his quirk i know from what people told me that deku later in the story he gets other quirks but deku learning his first quirk all for one i really like how selfless deku becomes how he instead of thinking about himself and being scared like he would have been in chapter one from chapter eight to chapter 100 it shows how selfless he is when the heroes to be in their summer training camp were basically ambushed by those villains deku Deku broke his arms, his arms were no use, but he still wanted to help other people. And in that condition, he ran to do his best to warn everybody and to make sure that even if he can help one person, he would gladly do it while risking his life. He is becoming a hero. And that's basically what this whole story is about. I regret not getting into this story and covering it weekly like I did Black Clover. However, I love Black Clover, don't get it twisted. However, what I regret about not covering my hero weekly is that I I wish I would have seen this week by week. Of course, it's better to read it like in bulk because everything gets to you at once and you can understand the themes a lot better. The thing that stopped me from getting into this story was the fact that they're in high school. Like, I hate stories about high school. I always love freedom. That's why I like Black Clover and One Piece is very free. That's basically my thoughts on the first 100 chapters. I'm gonna try catching up as soon as possible. I should be caught up by the end of this week. I know Shueisha is having like a golden week, so that's basically all I have to say about this. 
Let me know what you think about My Hero Academia. Let me know what you think about this video. Do you like My Hero Academia? What are the mangas you want me to cover? Do you like the themes in My Hero Academia? Like if you like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here.